And many people evacuated from that UPS facility were taken to a hotel in the area. Well, Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrello joins us live from the Holiday Inn in Logan Township. So, Matt, what can you tell us? Well, we talked to two of the bus drivers who transported those workers here to the Holiday Inn. They tell us they had just finished dropping off kids to school when they were told to go to that UPS facility. In all, 32 employees were taken here to the Holiday uh, Inn to shelter in place. We're also told that police are questioning them about what happened, trying to get their facts and uh, their statements as well. We also talked to a man who tells us his sister-in-law was inside the facility at the time. She's here right now. Take a listen to what he told us. Somebody came in there with a gun. Um, they all got out. They had to duck down, get out the best way they could. And the employees, they sent them here to the Holiday Inn Express. She's very upset about it right now. Yeah, very frightening situation. Meantime, we're told that there was a career fair happening inside the Holiday Inn this morning when all of a sudden uh, those people saw a large group of people being uh, escorted in by a pretty big police presence as well. So they had no idea what was happening. Uh, that job fair uh, was for Amazon, which is uh, very close by to that UPS facility. Meantime, we're told right now investigators are trying uh, to fact find. They're talking to all those uh, people who are inside that UPS facility uh, to get their statements and figure out what happened. Reporting live, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you. As Matt just said, the standoff did come to an end, but still a lot of work for investigators to figure out exactly what happened. Indeed, indeed.